guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Margie and this is Reclaimed by Ramsey. In today's episode, we're going to be chronicling the steps that it takes to take a two-piece hutch and make two separate pieces of furniture from them. In this installment, we'll be doing the top part of the hutch and making it its own freestanding I'm going to say console display cabinet or a bookcase and I think you're really going to love it. The first thing we did is we found this old uh, hutch top and I will be honest, I hate to paint hutch tops, but this one, the glass was already out of it, um, it didn't really have a lot of grooves and intricate designs. So I figured, well, this one might be a great idea to put some legs on it and make it a freestanding console. So that's what we attempted to do. Well, I say we. The junk hunk really wasn't involved in this one. He picked it up for me, but other than that, I did this one start to finish all by myself, and you can too. So let's get into the tutorial. Wait till you see how this piece looks when it's all done. The first thing I usually do is give my pieces a really thorough cleaning and remove any of the hardware that needs to come off. Next I'm going to take the hinges off of the doors and I'm going to make sure to keep all these together. I usually put them in a baggie so that I don't lose them. Now I left the ones that are on the door because you're not going to see them and so I didn't mind. I wasn't going to take them all off but I did keep all the screws together and you might want to mark your project uh, if you're doing a big thing. Now this next part here is I just took a, a regular flathead screwdriver and I just loosened the back piece um, from the cabinet itself. And you just have to be careful not so to... So guys, uh, once I got this off, uh, it was a lot easier to clean. You can see this just had like years and years and years of probably cigarette smoke. So I'm just cleaning it with... Um, LA Awesome that I get at the Dollar Tree and then I will go through once I have everything clean and then I will use uh, some bleach water and just kill any germs that are left. I picked up these furniture legs at Hobby Lobby for just a few dollars each and they're absolutely perfect. Next I just want to fill in the holes with some wood putty where the insert was where there used to be a glass door. Just put it on with my finger, easy peasy. And here I am just taking off the hardware from the other side um, and just going to give it a nice flush look. Sorry about the background noise, but my neighbor was mowing and there wasn't really anything I could do about that, so I'm really sorry about that, guys. Okay, guys, here I decided that I was just going to spray paint the legs since they didn't really match the cabinet and didn't have any age to them. I figured this way, um, if I decided to... Um, distress the cabinet at all, I would be able to have something other than the raw wood underneath. And that was just easier to me than doing any kind of staining. Now I'm just coming back and giving a light sand over the places where I filled with the wood filler. So these are the hanger brackets that I got to put on the, let me see if I can take you down here. I'm going to be putting these on the bottom of this piece because that is what the legs are going to screw into. 
and they're going to screw in like this. So you can't screw right into the bottom of the piece um, to put these legs in. You, you need one of these hanger brackets. And they, I think, were like $2.50 at Home Depot. I will try to link the information below. Here I just used my drill to put my pilot holes in. Technically, you should probably measure. I'm not much for measuring, so I just uh, eyeballed it, and it all turned out good. So just keep watching. Now I simply turned my piece over, attached the brackets, and now I'm attaching the feet. And they literally, the bolt just screws right in and it's pretty simple. You just want to get them good and tight. Um, I'm probably going to have the junk hunk tighten these down for me um, just to give them a really good crank. Still need to put the back, uh, give it another coat of paint, uh, put the back on and the doors uh, back on. Now I'm just going to go in and touch up the paint um, in the places that I missed and I am just applying this with a true applicator sponge from Heirloom Traditions. Uh, this is also Stonehenge Gray uh, paint from Heirloom Traditions and it is just wonderful. I can't say enough about it. No, they don't pay me to say anything about their paint. I just love their products. Um, so literally, I just kind of dab over and it, it ends up being a seamless finish. You, there are no brush strokes. It just looks amazing. So now I'll just finish the touch-ups and I will finish painting the doors. So next I laid the piece on its face and began to attach the backing. Obviously this would have been easier if the junk hunk had been there to help me. I wouldn't have had to probably put it on the ground, but it's all good. One thing you want to make sure that you do is you get your corner pieces in correctly. And then I just went through um, with little finishing nails, but you can use a staple gun if you have that, whatever's easiest for you. Just make sure that you attach it securely in the corners first so that it's, so that it's square. And then when you attach it in the center uh, where the shelving is, just make sure that you have measured that piece so that you know exactly how many inches it is because um, if you're if you're not going to be able to put it in the exact same hole that it was in before, which is what I did, um, I went right through the back panel piece and had to go back in and fill that in. So just be mindful of that when you do that. And guys, here it is all finished. I am so pleased with how it turned out. Please be sure to tell me what you think in the comments, and if you'd like to see more of these type of videos, I would love to know. So there you have it guys. Pretty simple process. Just a few steps to follow, a few rules to follow, and almost any hutch you can do this with. You can take the top off and make it a freestanding cabinet, a freestanding closet, or a freestanding shelving unit. I hope that you found this informative. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments and I will try to get back to you with, not try to, I will get back to you. I will answer any questions that you have. And if you found this video helpful, I hope that you will hit the subscribe button, share it, like it, do all the things you're supposed to do on social media. And I will be back with another video very soon. Our next video is going to be a trash to treasure haul and um, some ideas about Christmas trash to treasure decor. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.